Welcome to the July 17th version of the Sideline View. I'm here out at Cragen's Legacy Courses with Michael Foley. And Michael Foley, always a pleasure. I understand it's a busy summer for you, so I appreciate you taking your time, taking the time out of your busy schedule. Oh, no problem at uh, all. Golf schedule. Uh, do you do anything besides golf during the summer? I, uh, I work and uh, I, I get to paddleboard every once in a while. But other than that, it, it's pretty much all golf. But then but then you do work at a golf course. I so, work at a golf course. So, so yeah, go, You're working at Cragen's and Madden's. I know you haven't really worked at Madden's yet, but uh, correct. you're going to be caddying out there hopefully eventually. What's, what's the, um, what, was the, what was the caddy initiation thing like at Madden's? Uh, you know, it was, uh, it, it's, it's fairly rigorous because you definitely know what you, uh, you definitely need to have an understanding of golf. So, and they they have a requirement of a uh, certain handicap that you have to to be in in order to to, uh, to caddy. But um, I took a written exam. Uh, I got minus two out of I think it was like a hundred and five or something like that, which I thought I was going to get a hundred percent. But you know it, it happens. And then uh, I took an on course exam and passed it. Uh, with with flying colors, so well, you kind of grew up on that course, right? Yeah, yeah, I grew up on the classics, so I know a thing or two. So, the question that's burning in my mind as you say this: what what two questions did you get wrong? It was, gosh, one I, I debated it, and I ended up getting only minus. I, I, I take that back; it was minus one and a half. I I got okay. the I got the half point, and then the the minus one was it was some location of something. Um, and it wasn't on Madden's. It was it was around the area. I don't remember what it was. I think it was close, but they were they were sticklers about it, so, right. which right. is understandable. Understandable, yeah. It's a professional operation over there. Also here at Craigans, too. Uh, what are you what are you doing over here? I, I'm working in the par three building, uh, working in the pro shop, and um, working outside service. So. And as we're talking, your dad's uh, right behind us, giving us giving uh, yeah. some someone a lesson. So uh, it, it's kind of a, a family family uh, atmosphere out here at Craig's. Yeah, it, it is a uh, definitely a family operation, especially um, for for my dad and I uh, working for him over here at the par three. It's been great. Uh, I got some experience working for him uh, at the driving range uh, before we moved to South Carolina for for a summer, and I've I've worked for him forever i've always helped him out with uh, his golf schools i started regrouping golf clubs when i was about 10 mm -hmm. for him so i've been i've been doing this for a while so now uh to get to, you, to get back to the reason we we're talking to you uh, you're, you're obviously a, a brainer graduate played golf went to state uh, a, a, as a golf player um yeah what are you doing now well, where are you at now and what's the what's the future i'm like? at the university of northern iowa i just got done with my freshman year um i took a red shirt because in the fall I did not play. I didn't qualify um, for any tournaments. It was it was a tough fall. There's definitely a learning curve mm -hmm. involved with uh, playing college golf, learning how to balance um, school and, and golf. And there's more downtime, I guess, than high school. So you, you really got to learn time management right away, which is something that I, I had, but it definitely changed as, as I got there and it got more rigorous. Um, but uh, yeah, so so since I did not qualify, I got to take a red shirt, and then I didn't play in the spring, and it was such a brutal spring with uh, mm -hmm. with the weather that there really wasn't any qualifiers, so it just made sense to to sure. red shirt. What uh, what part of, you know having that red shirt? You, you're obviously practicing with the team and whatnot. What what parts of your game did you really notice that? Wow, I I need to improve that you didn't really maybe realize. Putting putting's always been uh, uh, a weak part in my game. I think if you go back and look at at some of the articles I've <laughs> I've been in, in in the Brainerd Daily Dispatch, it'll talk about putting. Um, my putting has improved a lot, which which is great. Um, one of the things that was an issue this year is ball striking, okay. uh, and I've always been a great ball striker, and and it's something that I've struggled with a little bit this summer. But that's what uh, probably the biggest thing that I struggled with in uh, uh, at school in the qualifying process was my ball striking. How, how's the team? I mean, did, was our guys graduated or is it? I looked at the, yeah. looked at the roster. It's a pretty sizable roster. A lot of guys it, on the it roster. It is, you know, and we actually have. Um, I think with the new freshmen coming in, we have about 19 guys total, okay. which is, that is a lot of guys. We don't have that many on the roster. There is a few guys that are not on the roster that um, if if needed, if, if they do play well, um, they can be put on the roster and, and will play, but uh, they just currently are not. Okay. So we do have a lot of guys. We had two guys graduate. Um, we had, uh, unfortunately, a, a guy quit. 
okay. and two guys transfer. So we had some people leave, but we do have a lot of freshmen coming in. So okay. it'll be interesting to see how they play. I don't really know any of them. Okay. Um, I know that there is a couple from Iowa. There's one from Wisconsin. Um, I don't think that there is any Minnesota boys. But mm. are, you, are you the only guy from Minnesota on the team? Or? No, I'm not, actually. We had a senior that's from uh, Minneapolis, and then my roommate – uh, this past year, and he's going to be my roommate again this year. Is uh, Glenn Walls from International Falls? Okay. So he's another Minnesota guy. I'm not the uh, not the lonely, <laughs> the lone gopher. Person. Yeah, <laughs> the lone gopher. What uh, What are you doing for the rest of the summer? Any Any summer tournaments that you're played in a lot of summer uh, summer tournaments? I'm almost done now. I have the uh, the USAM left uh, qualifier. That's on Monday. Um, hopefully playing it. We'll <laughs> see how that goes. And then a uh, tournament in Iowa, I have the, the Herman Sani, which is a, a great uh, tournament, has a great field. Um, but I played in uh, played in the Iowa Masters last weekend. Okay. I played in the Iowa Match Play uh, a couple weeks before that. I played in the U.S. Publix Qualifier, did not make it. Um, what else did I play in? You've been playing quite uh, a bit, though. Yeah, I've been playing quite a bit. How, yeah. How's the game right now? You know, it's not as good as as what it has been in the past. Uh, it's a little bit better than what it was last fall, but it's still not where it needs to be, unfortunately. But um, you know, it's all part of the process. I'm definitely getting there every day. I feel like I'm getting closer. Um, the scores might not show up, but I I've become a much better player. I've become much more mature mm-hmm. as the season has gone on, as the year has gone on. Uh, I just actually got done uh, talking to my sports psychologist, and she feels like I've I've made huge gains. And there's just little things that are holding me back that um, I, I'm going to work on, and they won't hold me back any longer. So. Sure, perfect. What's what's the uh, the final? I mean, what what what's the goal? I know one of your coworkers, Nick Forsberg, he wants to go on the tour. Uh, how, about, how about yourself? What's That's what's your absolutely the the goal? Um, and uh, I've I've always had very lofty goals. Whether it's been uh, I I always wanted to win state. I didn't get that one done, but I did go. Mm-hmm. Um, I wanted to win conference individually and as a team. We got both of those done last year. I want to be one of the top college players in the country, and um, I think that that could absolutely happen. I I think that um, there's a lot of golf left in me. Uh, I got I have a lot of room to improve, but I think that I can do it. And then ultimately, I want to be. I want to be a major champion. I want to. I want to win um, the the two big ones that I really want. I want to win the Masters and then win the win the British at St Andrews. Oh, British, I, yeah. I'm a huge golf history buff, and that's that's, that's the pinnacle. Golf's holy week is every <laughs> five years we get to see uh, get to see them play at, at, at St Andrews. So, well, good luck getting there, and uh, thank you for taking uh, some time out of your busy yeah, schedule. And uh, I really appreciate it for yeah, good luck for the rest of the show. Yeah, good luck for the rest of the way. Thank you very much. Thank you.